Hello, my name is John Ansel with Richland County Solid Waste and Recycling. The Solid Waste Program in Richland County is uh, first and foremost curbside collections. Uh, we service approximately 92,000 residents here in Richland County. We provide four services to the uh, residents. So we are touching uh, the residents here somewhere in the neighborhood of 125 thousand to one hundred and fifty thousand times a week as far as collections. We also uh, we run a landfill. We run a class two landfill permitted by South Carolina DHEC and we have two closed landfills on this property. We have two full service recycling centers and uh, we have a number of collections inspectors that are out there following the collections contractors uh, on a daily basis making sure they're uh, performing the responsibilities that they've been bestowed. In the landfill business, you're always looking ahead. You have to anticipate growth. You have to anticipate where that growth is. Uh, as an example, um, we contract with Waste Management Richland Landfill to handle all of our MSW disposal. MSW meaning municipal solid waste. And to explain that just a little further, that's going to be your household trash. Okay, the landfill that we run here today on this location is what's called a class two landfill. That's a construction and demolition debris landfill. So we know for sure we're gonna be generating class three waste with every new household we have here in Richland County. So we have to be thinking about, do we have capacity at their landfill? What is their future like? Um, are they anticipating the growth that we think we are seeing? Every year since I've been here, we have gone up in tonnage as far as what comes across the scales. And that is contributing or contributed by the number of new residents we have coming into Richland County. Recycling curbside has stayed relatively the same. Okay, an important thing to note about Richland County is we collect recycling two different ways. We're going to collect it curbside as part of your service fee. We'll collect that once every two weeks in a 96 gallon roll cart. But we also collect it here at our recycle centers. So we're getting it two different ways. Um, we are seeing more material come into the recycling centers and about the same amount of material coming in via curbside. Now, again, as the communities grow, people choose to participate in our recycling program, those numbers go up slightly. I think the message that I would like to get across and specifically to curbside services is curbside service is not an exact science. There will never be a day when 100% of every garbage can is collected here in Richland County. There are a number of reasons for that. We could spend a lot of time talking about those reasons, but for the sake of, of brevity, I would just simply like to say a missed garbage can is actually part of the business we are in. I know that's not a, a something that somebody really likes to hear, but that is the genuine reality of a collections program. Another thing that I would like people to be aware of is the employment. Uh, aspect of what we do. Uh, what we do is, is not necessarily a glamorous job. Uh, the garbage collectors, the collections contractors, the gentlemen that are picking up the trash, however you'd like to refer to them, it's not a glamorous job. It is a difficult position to fill. It's not unknown today that there are a number of, of worker shortages uh, across a number of different industries. It's especially hard hit in the solid waste industry. A lot of people simply do not want to do this kind of work anymore completely understandable, it's not for everybody. I'm very, very fortunate here in this building to have a group of dedicated people. If I have an opening, I have someone that is more than willing to assist and to fill in whenever that time is, is, is available. We've had a tremendous amount of success with that. The people that are working here today, they're, they're a fantastic group of people and I rely heavily on them. The success of the Solid Waste Department is the number of people here that are performing those duties throughout the course of a day. We have had down times and we've had up times. Um, it's always going to be like that in, in my mind. It's just the nature of the industry we work in. But it revolves around the people that are here and their dedication to what we're doing and how they feel about the service they're providing to Richland County.